Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to yet another episode of Devotees of Jesus. I am your host, Julian Phillips, and let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, I ask that you hold us by the hand, show us a whole host of lovely things, and give us the encouragement to know that you are always there, and you are the first person we should check. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 20, verses 17 to 28. <clears throat> when Jesus was going to Jerusalem, he took his twelve apostles aside and said to them on the way, See, we are going to Jerusalem. There the Son of Man will be given over to the chief priests and the teachers of the law, who will condemn him to death. They will hand him over to the foreigners, who will make fun of him, scourge him, and crucify him but he will rise on the third day. Then the mother of James and John came to Jesus with her sons, and she knelt down to ask a favor. Jesus said to her, What do you want? And she answered, Here are my two sons. Grant that they may sit, one at your right and one at your left, when you are in your kingdom. Jesus said to the brothers, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I have to drink? They answered, We can. Jesus replied, You will indeed drink my cup, but to sit at my right or at my left is not for me to grant. That will be for those for whom the Father has prepared it. The other ten heard all this and were angry with the two brothers. Then Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the nations lord it over them, and the powerful oppress them. It shall not be so among you. Whoever wants to be more important in your group shall make himself your servant. And whoever wants to be first must make himself the slave of all. Be like the Son of Man who has come not to be served, but to serve and to give his life to redeem many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm often reminded when I come across this passage, the the ones who were positioned at the left and right when Jesus of Jesus when Jesus had his final moments were two thieves. I'm sure we remember that story. One thief spoke badly of Jesus and complained why wouldn't he do something? And the other thief to mm-hmm. rebuke the thief. And he said, no, um, this Jesus is not guilty of anything. And Jesus told the gentleman that we call the good thief that he would enter into the kingdom. I'm sure James and John's mother had no idea that the individual at the left and right would, they would both be thieves. But the, the most powerful part of this passage for me is the part near the end. The other ten apostles are upset that James and John have made attempts to, to, for lack of a better word, assume higher position. This reminds me of another gospel where Jesus would call the followers aside, having read their minds and, and knowing that they were arguing who was the best, who was the greatest in the group. And Jesus told them, unless you become like little children, you can't enter the kingdom of heaven. Here Jesus is saying something similar. If you want to be first, you have to put yourself last. So what does that really mean? It means that we have to be open to the spirit of service. So we we covered the phrase already, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. Jesus has come to serve you. You have to receive, or you should receive, what he's offering you in terms of service. And in that same spirit of Jesus, you are called to serve others. Now, I want to be clear, serving others does not mean debasing yourself and making yourself into any doormat. It means the same way you receive freely from Jesus, you give freely. I recall Mother Teresa had a saying that went something like this. 
the more and more and more you give, it is the more and more you will receive. This is how, with just uh, an inspiration from God, she could form her order of sisters and, frankly speaking, end up being known all over the planet, having, having houses for her sisters all over the world. Because she knew that, as the prayer of St. Francis goes, it is in giving that we receive. Now, something very, very important to, to note here. At the same time, we are to be of service. We are not Jesus. So there comes a time in the day when sleep befalls me, I need to go to sleep. There are moments in the day when I am hungry, I need to eat. There are moments in the day when I need to ignore the phone that's ringing. I need to not answer that email. I need to let whoever know, uh, look, I, I can't help you now. Now, many, I wouldn't say many, but there are those who say that what I'm saying there is very sinful. Well, it's the truth. I am a human. Jesus, on the other hand, is not only just human. He's God. So Jesus is inexhaustible. So at no time when you call on Jesus will he tell you that he's tired, he's sleepy, He's hungry. He's had a bad day. He's had too much to do. His, his, uh, you know, he he has too much on his agenda. Leave him alone. Don't bother him. Jesus will never say that. So to me, the most important service that I can provide for anybody is to let them know clearly, clearly, clearly. Check Jesus. Now that doesn't mean that I don't have a function to perform in helping people, right? I Yes, I have my part to play, but the biggest part I have to play is to let you know you check Jesus because everything is, all fi is, is fine if you have an agenda you wish to pursue and there's no human who wishes to assist you. Once you've consulted Jesus, and you are checking him regularly, you have the whole universe of support. And inevitably, people will come to your assistance. People will lend a helping hand. So just keep in mind, don't put yourself in a place where you feel you don't have to lift a finger for anybody. That's not what, 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 is, what we are saying. But you as a human know there must be limits to what you can do. And don't feel you are abandoning anybody. Once you can convince somebody for that somebody to check Jesus, you are, you are helping by doing that. And even if they, they don't have it in them to accept this talk, you can pray for them. So even if you've come to the place where your resources, your physicality can't assist, or you just, you just need time to recharge your battery so you're not able to assist, you can pray for them. So let, let's just all say, Jesus, help those in need of the help. Our Lady of Good Counsel, pray for us.